up from that room. Welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome to part three of our building of the transient Gundam Glacier. And uh, I'm going to wait for a few more people to arrive. And I'm going to get rid of this drop shadow here. Much better. And yeah. Wait about another minute or two and then we'll begin. And for those who are wondering, we're listening to our tour, Space Trip. And I will post the link in the chat in case somebody wants to uh, listen to the music. And I'm going to continue on with some synth wave, retro wave. 80s, chill wave, whatever you want to call it, wavy wave. And we're about to start with the waist. In part one, we finish the head, torso, arms, and fists. Part two, we worked on some legs. And uh, now we're gonna work on a waist. So let's work on a pelvis. Let's work on a waist. Let's see. We connect these two pieces here. those. Again, I'm going to connect these two, like so. And now we have two of these. And uh, I'm going to connect this here. And the cool thing about these blades, they're totally rotatable. And they rotate this way as well. 3D rotation, which is awesome. And we need E3. E3 is right here. Cut that piece here. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, I uh, 
accidentally poked my middle finger with the exacto. Uh, so that's why I have the band-aid. It wasn't that bad. And shave off a little bit of the excess plastic sticking out right there. Okay. And we're gonna connect this, but we need we need an extra piece. We need C7. So I'm checking here. connect that but we need another piece am I missing it C7 I must have cut it huh so I gotta find it ah there it is We're gonna put the piece that we have temporarily lost right here. And uh, again, I am not a professional, and uh, you know I'm gonna make mistakes. But anyways, I found the piece, and I'm gonna uh, enter it into this uh, bottom slot here. So I'm gonna plug it in right there, like so. And we come in and plug that right there. Boom. And we have a waist. Now, we need the front armor. But it's coming along. This is a... Uh, this is a pretty poseable waist. We have some blades with 3D rotation. And then down here, this moves too, which is really cool. And we have a ball socket at the top. Very exciting. And now we're going to go and we're going to cut some uh, pieces from this A1 section. And uh, we're looking for A124. This is actually the A2. So A124 is right around ah there we go it's this piece right here and i'm gonna come in and just start cutting and uh really um trying to be gentle here and there we have it now don't like the excess plastic that was left on there so i'm gonna cut it with the exacto and i gotta be careful because i've stabbed myself before by accident and uh, and that's good. So we shaved off a tiny bit of excess um, of plastic that was just sticking out. And we're gonna come in. And actually we need E1. So we're gonna look for the uh, E part. This is the E 
section of parts and I'm gonna come in and cut out um, E1, which is this piece right here. That's a really cool piece. It's very uh, aerodynamic. I love the wings on that. It's an awesome shape. Reminds me of the UAPs that everyone keeps seeing on the news, the UFOs that everyone keeps talking about, which could be uh, radar blocking balloons or, you know, advanced technology from China or Russia. Who knows? It could be a UFO. It could be aliens. But this, this shape right here reminds me of some of those, some of that recent footage of UAPs. I mean, that, that's almost like a mini spaceship in and of its own. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna actually connect these two pieces together. And uh, I believe they go together like this. like so. Okay. And now we have a frontal armor plate for the pelvis. This too could be like a spaceship. Look at that. It's awesome. But it's a waste. There's a pelvis and Let's continue. So next up, I need to uh, put together B15 and E2. So B15 is right here. Or is it? <laughs> there you go. This one. There's two Bs. Anyway, so B15 would be this here. So I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to shave off tiny bit of the excess plastic there and we have this extra piece now so now I'm going to cut E2 here's our E section E2 is this really strangely shaped piece here so we're going to cut it very gently take this piece and uh, I think we kind of I think we have to put this one like this yeah there you have it ok 
Okay. And connect it there. And voila, look at that. Boom. This thing is, uh, it's, it's, it's looking like just super aerodynamical. Even though it's a waste, this thing's badass. So much craft and care gets put into each and every little shape. So much thought gets put into the creation of how all these pieces go together. I give a lot of the designers, I give props to all the designers that worked on this. I think this is a really cool build. That's awesome. And there you have it. So now, you know, we, we, we're here. We need... B-17 parts. So, B-17. B-17. And we're going to enter these two parts right in here. These pieces go in like this. So the, uh, B17 on the bottom. These are B17 pieces. So they go right there. And now we need the B16 pieces. these two parts and we're going to come in and we're just going to add it right here like so All right, so we've attached these armor blades to the sides here. 
And this is the front, this is the back. These are the sides. And I think the pieces are in there pretty good. I don't want to squeeze it too hard because last time I did that, the whole gun then exploded. So for, for the top part, I was trying to put the head in and boom, all the pieces flew everywhere. I had to find uh, this part right here. It took me like 10 minutes after I had logged, I found it. Um, but yeah, so moving forward, we are officially done with this part here. So now we can move forward and connect the legs to the waist and the body to the legs. So we're gonna do that. That's pretty exciting, I'm, I'm stoked. So, come in there. I'm gonna piece this leg into the waist. Oh, back piece flew off. Yeah, you can't squeeze them too hard. Okay. All right. So this back piece keeps slipping out, but it's okay. All right. We have that leg in there. And I like how the um, side armoring just kind of like hovers over. It's really cool. Shows off a little bit of that ball socket. That's dope. All right, so I'm gonna connect this leg that we had previously built last night. Uh, if you wanna watch part two and part one of the beginning of how this whole gun them uh got started uh go and uh just check them they're still on twitch and they're also on my youtube calyptus gaming on youtube um but yeah there you have it two legs and the waist that's pretty cool and i mean can we does it already can we get it to stand already just as legs on a crooked piece of paper. That's cool. Awesome. That's pretty dope. I'm pretty excited. And now, I'm gonna come from the top. And I'm just going to straighten his arms a bit. Straighten his head. And we're going to connect. I don't want those blades to get in the way. And I think we're good. Dude, he's coming along. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. That is so dope. Okay, so he's not done yet. There's a lot more um, that needs to happen, but this is pretty cool. So we have the generalized humanoid form, or the Gundam form, um, without all of the, like, wings and blades and weapons, this is pretty cool. I mean, this is what he looks like without all the extra stuff. That's pretty dope. Really coming along. So obviously the back needs more. We have some slots there. We can connect different attachments. We're going to be doing that soon. Um, but I just want to appreciate um, this form as is for a minute. That's so cool. And it's coming along. It stands. That's cool. And so now it's asking us to build the stands. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just take apart all of these tidbits 
and uh, shave off any excess material. I should probably, um, let's see. No, I just did it the, uh, the way I was originally doing it. So, gotta be very gentle here. But we're doing it. All right. Boom. Look at that. We have the part that's gonna be uh, holding the Gundam. And yeah, so we have BA01 and BA02. Maybe it's BAO, BAO02, BAO01. I don't know. Whatever it is, here they are. These are the two parts. And we're going to connect. What is it like? Uh, like one of these, like so. Okay. And uh, this one goes here. Let's see, that's cool. And we could, uh, we can connect this part. And then we can, like, I guess that goes that goes up there, like from behind, that's, that's terrible. All right, well, it, it's gonna go like that, ow. All right, so if we're gonna pose this guy, we're gonna do terrible things to him, and we're gonna have to. Uh, anyways, we're not gonna use this right now. This is this is kind of cool. It would have been cool if you can hold from the back. Anyways, we have that. And uh, yeah. Moving right along. So now we're gonna work on a backpack. So we're gonna look for A115. So A115. Is this piece right here. So we're gonna cut that. And uh Like that. Okay. And now we need A115. So A115 is one of these. Is it? No. Ah, uh, hold on. Oh no, 25, not 15. That's why I couldn't find it. A125. This is A1. This is 25. Uh, we're gonna cut it. Okay. Gonna shave off a little bit of the uh, excess material there. And uh, connect that there, or is it like that? Yeah, like that. And we need A one nine. A one nine.
Wow, that's a small piece here. So we're gonna be very, very gentle. Okay. And uh, we're gonna connect. Here. Wait, yeah, I think so. Let's see. We have that. So we have this, and now. This goes here. Okay, like that. All right. And we need B8, B9, okay, so these parts right here, I'm just gonna cut them. And then also like B9. So we have that. And now we're going to connect this part. Okay. Continue on, and we're going to cut A to eight. Right, now I'm gonna put the B9 piece right here, like so. And I'm gonna connect that piece right there. And uh, we have these two parts, which are kind of cool. So, we are here, and now turn the page.
this part. And we gotta do that. B12 and B11. B12 and B11. two parts And we need A29. A2, we're gonna cut nine. Gonna be very gentle here. Such a small piece. We have it. connect that in a minute. First we need A215. So this is A2 here. And 15 is right here. So we're gonna cut that. We're gonna be very careful not to cut that small uh, tidbit there. So we're just gonna go right above that. 
and cut there. And that's the thing with building these, you need to really pay attention. Make sure you don't cut the wrong parts. If you cut the wrong piece, you won't be able to connect everything. And you can really um, screw yourself. So you got to be careful. It's very easy to daze off and just screw up. So, But there you have it. So now we're going to do kind of what we did for this piece. We're going to do that here. So we're going to come in and uh, connect it right about there. And then we're going to come in and connect that. Okay, clicked in. And it's already giving us a really cool dynamic aesthetic. I love those blades. They're just super cool. A lot of mobility too. Anyways, so we have that. And now uh, we need we need to build the uh, other parts that go with that, like these. I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut out this B10 shape. And I'm going to do the same on this section. Okay. the uh, eight sections. And we now have the pieces that we need to add to the part that we had just built before. And coming right along. Okay. Now we have these two pieces. And uh, let's see. We need to add these other parts that are here. We're going to cut those off. Okay. And again, with the excess plastic, I just come in with the exacto and I just shave it off. You could probably use this if you want. You could sand it. But it could be very quick with the exacto. Alrighty, so I'm going to connect the parts that we just cut to these mech limbs, and we're going to connect those to the piece that we had just built. So it's going to go right in there. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I love these shapes. They're really cool. Look at that. They look really good together too. So 
So this one feels a little bit crooked. I wonder why. That's fine. And this one is, uh, yeah, they're both fine. It's just you get so much mobility that uh, you can pose them in any uh, direction that you want. And so to get both sides to be symmetrical, you got to really sit there and pose them to be symmetrical uh, because you have a lot of possibilities with these shapes. So that's cool. All right, so now we're going to cut B11 and B12 for the second part. So it's like these two parts here. Um, yeah, B11 and B12, right here, we're going to cut those, man, this is really coming along, and uh, even though we don't have too many people today, uh, those who are here and who are hanging out, uh, thanks a bunch for coming and hanging and, uh, and chilling and building this uh, transient Gundam Glacier with me. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, hanging out. And, uh, and yeah, this might be a little bit too niche, but I think that um, it's a lot of fun. And uh, oh. really have to be careful with these pieces because they really disconnect easily. Oh, there you go. Okay. So now we have that. two parts now for the back that's pretty cool so yeah we're moving right along I think that uh, you know we have I think just one more page and a half and we're pretty much done so yeah so we're we just finished with this section here we assembled those two parts and now we are and uh, I believe this part. So we need B7 and B6. And we're going to cut, um, let's see, B7 and B6. So that's these parts right here. So I'm going to come in through here, gently cut away. And uh, I guess I could cut right up to that ball socket. I'm going to be really careful. And snip right there. And again, if I cut the wrong part, I could really screw up the whole model. All right. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing to the other section. So I'm going to cut here. Sometimes you just have to rotate the whole, uh, the whole piece and cut. I like cutting flatly against a plane. And uh, even then, you're gonna get excess plastic sometimes. So you gotta come in and just kinda like do one of these or one of these. But yeah, looking good. So now, we need A111 and A211. So, going to be A211, A211, so it's actually this blade here, 
So we're gonna cut right there. Cut here. Okay. The same thing for this piece here. Okay. And I'm gonna grab that piece. And we just cut. And I'm gonna enter the uh, plastic here. And so, uh, let's see. So, this is gonna be like that. Hmm, let's see. Okay, so the blade, yeah, the blade is actually going to go here, and this piece connects right here, like that. And, uh... It's not fitting, so I'm gonna do it behind camera. Let me just check. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I was doing it. I had the purple pleat, the purple piece was inverted. And, uh, and that's why it wasn't fitting. So now, it should just fit. Yeah. Cool. And I'm gonna take away that tidbit there. And they have it. So now we have this and it moves. And we're gonna do the same thing to this. Okay. So now I gotta find, ah, there it is. So, okay. Taking that. Placing the uh, blade there. And actually, it goes like this. Yeah. So. Okay. And there you have it. We have a few more pieces here. I'm also gonna brush um, some of this excess residue. Just sweeping here, sweeping it with debris away from our table, just so we get a cleaner view. Okay, just sweeping a little bit. All right, so we now need an A1 and an A2 16. And that's gonna be here. Okay. I'm going to take out the other piece. A116. This is A216. And we're going to just... 
let that drop. Now we have these two pieces here. And we can uh, connect the piece that we had previously built right in there, like so. And uh, there's a little bit of excess plastic here that I'm going to cut off with the exacto. There you have it. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for this piece here. I'm going to connect it to the hole. We have two parts that are very similar. And now we need E5 and E6. This is our E section. E5 is right here. We're going to cut out right there. We also need E6. Ah, there it is. Okay, so now I have to connect those two parts. So that's going to go in there. So I'm assuming that goes like this. Right? I mean, that's like the only. Or like this. Uh, no? No, oh, yeah. Like that. Okay. And now the tops are going to go here. And uh, in the bottom, it's gonna go there. Let's see. So, yeah. I mean, we can spend like a massive amount of time posing this but leave it at that and now we're going to plug these guys at the bottom here and uh, this is looking really awesome okay. that's cool And now we are going to connect those parts to the back. And so, yeah, it's coming along, right? I'm excited. So, this goes right behind here. Boom, look at that, that's awesome. That's really cool. That's a cool shape. Just gonna bring that um, hip protection lower. Bring his fist down. And uh, man, it's really coming along, look at that. That's dope. I don't want to get 
too crazy with the posing just yet. But yeah, this thing is very dynamic and has a lot of posability. That's that's cool. Sure you can. Hey, what's up, Spiral Cycle? Hey man, cool to see you again. By the way, if you missed part one and part two of the making of this uh, Transient Gundam Glacier, it's in the uh, Twitch, but it's also in the in the YouTube. So be, if you want to check these uh, episodes out, um, yeah, be sure to check them out on YouTube and here for a few more weeks. But yeah, it's coming along. Oh, cool, man. Awesome. Dude, thank you for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks to everyone who uh, has come out and, uh, you know, has been hanging out. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple of different things tomorrow night. i got a surprise, and I'm going to try to go live every night. And so, yeah, uh, stay tuned. But we're going to keep building this guy. He's really coming along. I'm really digging the aerodynamic aesthetics that we have here. I feel like this guy could travel through, the, you know, just different galaxies but you know he's uh he's definitely a mobile suit that's more uh you know meant for flying below or above the stratosphere but uh maybe not galactic travel but anyways i really i feel like with blades like that man you could fly so fast you could probably travel faster than the speed of light i don't know i'm just getting excited i really like these uh these overall shapes too it's just a nice uh even uh, break up of the purple and the gray and they all kind of come together really nicely you'll have areas that are purple and then areas that are that are gray followed by the areas that are purple followed by the areas that are gray i like how the purple looks all transparent and uh man this is uh this is one of my favorite builds so far definitely um a super fun build for sure but yeah we're gonna continue Put a little bit more light there. Just don't want to get overexposure. Figure type a little bit too. I don't type much. So I gotta get used to it. All right, so we are here, and uh, we just attached the wings to the back, and we are now going to move to A112, A212, and B2 section. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just start. So right here, I'm going to find A112. That's that's that long piece right there. All right, cool. So we're gonna cut right here. Cut right there. And we might as well just cut this piece out since we're here. Cause you know we're gonna need it. Okay. And uh, grab section B and we're gonna cut out B2. So B2. Looks like a scepter. Some kind of rod or like a, a wizard's uh, wand from the future. <laughs> I don't know. I love these pieces. They spark different ideas. My imagination goes crazy. And, uh, you know, like if, if like I, uh, you know, had to repurpose some of these parts to kit bash uh, for, for a different project. Um, like I've been doing, you know, like I've been collecting parts, uh, I've been recycling all the bits of plastic to work on other projects. And so if I were to just throw, throw this piece for that, this would be one of the dope pieces, but I, I can't do that. I really wanna, you know, continue building this. And uh, there are gonna be some uh, Gundam that I'm gonna buy just to take the pieces and save them. For different projects but this one uh, 
this one's gonna be built all the way to the finish i just really like this piece i just think it's really cool i'm a sucker for like weird shapes like that right there that's so cool anyway so we have this now we're gonna connect um, these two parts right there so let's see Oh, I see. So these parts are different. Uh, this is actually the part that goes in this piece is actually this part here. So I'm going to pull that out. And I'm gonna shave the excess bit of plastic with my exacto. Okay. And uh, now, oh no, okay, yeah. This piece takes these guys like so and the other piece takes the other gray piece okay so we have that and this goes on this so i'm gonna cut here i'm gonna cut right about there And, uh, yeah, that should do it. Boom! Look at that. That's cool, man. Ooh. These are cool. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm excited. This is a really fun build. There's so much um, posability too, man, with, with the different possibilities that you could pose this gun them with. I, I'm really excited. And so I gotta continue on with these shapes here. And we're doing a duplicate of what we did here. And so I'm gonna cut out that piece and this one again. And go back in A2, section seven. And I'm gonna cut right in there. Be very gentle, just snip with it. I'm going to come in and cut these guys now, so be very gentle. Okay. This guy is still attached. I'm being a little bit rough, but it's okay. Again, I'm not a professional with Gundam building. There's some people out there that are, like, really good. Uh, like G Studio. Follow G Studio. He's so good. I've learned a lot from him. Uh, just, like, Gunpa on Instagram. Bunch, bunch of uh, professionals uh, that are out there that are building just higher-level Gundam than I have. Uh, this is the fourth Gundam I've ever built. I'm not a professional. I'm having a lot of fun, though, and I'm learning a lot. But uh, there are people out there who have gallery shows of builds. Now, I would like to 
create some Buddha robots in the future, and I am taking inspiration from Gundam builds and learning a lot. And, uh, you know, again, this is inspiration. This is like learning robot anatomy, mech anatomy, and uh, it inspires. And I do intend to make my own custom mechs in the future. So this is all part of the learning process. But, uh, yeah, so I'll connect these pieces here. So that's kind of cool right there. And this piece slides in there. I'm gonna have to shave off a bit from that edge. And, uh, and there you have it. So now we have those two parts and these two parts and they should connect. Actually, uh, not quite like that. Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, and now we can, uh, well, we gotta take apart his hand. Oh, I see. So these are gonna be held by a different pair of hands. So if I want him to hold that, I need to cut these two hands out. All right, so let's do that. I think his weapons are really cool, so we're gonna cut out the hands that can hold them. And we're gonna temporarily put away the fists, closed fists. B3 and B4. And that's cool that they give you two different hands that you could just build. Like, I don't have to take the back side of the hand and use it for the open palm. I could just have a separate hand that's totally replaceable. That's cool. And so I'm going to connect the hand right there. And I'm going to come in with the back part and piece it together. Oh, I am just too rough. Let's try again. I see. I was trying to get him to hold the thicker part, but um, yeah, I don't think he'll do that. So. You know what might be cool? If he has like one hand where he's holding it and then the other hand is a fist. So we have variation. Or we could just give him two weapons. Why not? <laughs> there you have it. So now I'm just going to plop out the other fist 
and you know we have two fists but I'm gonna give him his other weapon and I think it's gonna be it's gonna look dope there you have it so I'm being like super gentle here I hope Alright. Nice. Look at that. Boom. That's so cool. Oh, and then that piece keeps like disconnecting. So let's see. Oh. That's pretty dope. Nice. All right, so we've come this far, but we're not done yet. We have, wait, are we done? I guess we're done. No. I mean, we've kind of did everything, you know, and then it ends here. But my question is, I guess, okay, so I guess we're left with open hands for posability. So let's just cut all the pieces out that we're left with so we don't lose anything. Um, so we have an open palm possibility for posing. So that's cool. Open palm. And none of this stuff gets like wasted. I've, I've been recycling all of these nid bits of plastic from all of these pieces. And I'm gonna be using these for my own builds. And so anything that um, would get thrown out, I keep and I'm gonna cut, you know, like I can cut like, you know, a, inch long rod right like like 32 of them or whatever and make like a geodesic shape or whatever possibilities around this so i'm saving all this stuff so i know you guys see a lot of plastic you're probably thinking uh you know is that even eco-friendly yes i'm not throwing anything out it's not ending up in ocean or in somebody's backyard it's basically uh in my studio and it's going to be utilized for sculptural art for different kit bashed builds and uh yeah, so all this stuff's gonna be saved. I'm saving all of this stuff. And I'm just gonna go through all of the pieces to make sure that I'm not leaving anything major behind. Okay. Nothing here. And uh, noticing like, like here, I have extra parts. And here, he, uh, you know, he, he's got a, a blue face here, but he's got the gray face. So I guess we have some possibilities with color too. So that's cool. I mean, that could have been the color of his face, but we, we ended up going, oh, wait, let's see. No, yeah, we're good. Yeah, I think that's just an extra, like, variation. So we have some extra parts. You know, we also have the, the fists that are closed for punching that don't have a hole for the weapon. We have a possibility for open hand. And, uh, yeah, this is cool. Let me see.
Okay, so this, I know for a fact, goes here. Oh. Piece popped off, but I'm putting it back on. There you have it. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is it, man. This is the uh, the piece, and. Uh, I gotta be gentle with it. I think I, I keep squeezing it too hard and keep separating. Okay. All right. There we have it. This is our Gundam. This is our transient Gundam Glacier. Team Lapis Lazuli. This is dope. This is the Lindsay Anagozi's mobile suit, and uh, man, it was it was loads of fun to build. I you know definitely learned more about just building Gundam. And, uh, you know, don't squeeze these too hard. They explode. <laughs> I've learned my lesson at the end of episode one, uh, part one of, of, of the series. And uh, either way, nothing broke and everything fits fairly well. And the cool thing is you can pose this in so many different ways. Like his, his head rotates and, you know, the weapons are super dope. Yeah, this is, this is a really cool build. I might do like three point lighting on him and put him in like a plastic case or something. And uh, yeah, something to consider. Thank you. Thanks everyone who came out and hung out and uh, stuck through while uh, I built this and uh, you know, this is a lot of fun. I hope it wasn't too niche for y'all. I hope you appreciate it and enjoy it. I hope it was inspiring. Uh, I hope you had as much fun as I did. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you around. I'll be back here tomorrow. I'm going to be going live every night um, as much as I can throughout the summer. And, uh, and, and hopefully uh, through the fall and winter as well. But stay tuned. And I'll see you all on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.